blade of mine. Well, okay. That's fine. That's fucking fine. That'll be all right. Screen is fucking weird, though. Yay, yay! There is only one. Time to play the Alright. Alright. We're ready to go here, baby. We are ready to go. Give everybody a couple minutes to, to hop in here. Well, we got a heck of a show. Heck of a show lined up. It's the last one. It's the last one before Slaughter. It's gonna be a good one. Oh yeah. here well we're basically set here you know yo what's up hold on I gotta do something with this window there we go what's up commissioner ladies and gentlemen give it up for the commissioner I've been here, but it didn't say you're on. <laughs> I was late. I was a fuck. I was a bit late. Lou Sazzle. Who the fuck is Lou Sazzle? And I'm I'm glad you're bringing him. That's cool. Give it up to Rhizomex for a raid, guys. Let's go ahead and get into this show. Let's get it pumped up. Let's get it started. Loose Asshole's coming to be on the stream, too, apparently. Fucking stoked for that. All right, let's go. Let's go. Fucking wires. Get out of here. Oh, man. It's a special night, folks. Special night. The show before... The third annual Slaughter Special Show. <laughs> Loose Hazel. I never heard of that. I never heard of it either. But uh, I'll tell you, it took me two or three seconds. Fuck yeah. Yeah. We are live. We are fucking live, baby. Why don't you just hang the mic? Oh, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live in the Scuff City Arena, 17,000 strong, going batshit insane for the Go Home Show. Welcome to Render Wrestling Polaris. What's up, everybody? 
I'm Brian Benjamin Andrews. Yeah, this looks pretty fucking legit. <laughs> if I had a dildo, what if I had a dildo, Mike? Can you, are you even visible? Wait, listening only. I don't know what that means, but uh, are you muted? What does that even mean? I don't even know. I don't even know what to do with that. Oh, now what the fuck? All right. Well, I hope, yeah. Okay, it does. It does. It does mean also, it does mean also that I'm gay. I'm very, I'm actually very gay tonight. I'm very happy. I'm very excited for tonight's show. We got a hell of a broadcast for you. The final show before we go to slaughter this Saturday, May 27th, the third annual slaughter special show. That's right, folks. We've stood the test of time and we are trucking along stronger than we've ever been, brother, to kick things off tonight to determine the number one contendership for the multi-universal champion currently held by Mr. Santa Claus of all, of all, of all the people in the world. How unlikely that Santa Claus three defenses of that multi-universal championship. Mr. McMahon, Vincent Kennedy himself goes one on one with the undefeated, the undefeatable Terminator. For the right to challenge Santa Claus this Saturday night. And then moving on here. A national championship action. Well, we know Claudio Castagnoli is going to be defending the national title this Saturday. Against the winner of the main event tonight. He's asked for this time here tonight to give the people a little preview of what they can expect this Saturday. He goes one on one with Tommy Dreamer of the Cult of Raven. And as you can see, Claudio Castagnoli being flanked by Sheamus and Drew McIntyre, the other members of The Bar. Yes, I got the call. I got the call last night. Drew McIntyre, officially part of The Bar. And then it was supposed to be John Cronus and Perry Saturn taking on the New Day for the number one contendership for the TV tag titles. Perry Saturn called in sick. He couldn't make it to Scuff City in his place. I was going to wait until after Slaughter to make this announcement. But the newest registered tag team in the television tag team championship division is the one, the only, Samoa Joe. He says he's tired of waiting. He's tired of waiting for a partner to get the job done. He's going at it himself. Samoa Joe, one on two against Big E Langston and Xavier Woods of the New Day. The winners of this match go on to face Cheech and Chong next week for the television tag team titles. Yo, what's up, Moon Guy? Yo, thanks for the follow, man. Welcome to the show. It's the go-home show before the pay-per-view this Saturday night. We're going to see this, oh, big-time handicap match one-on-two, but when Samoa Joe is on the other side of the ring, and there ain't much of a handicap to look on to. And in our semi-main event, the penultimate, Tessa Blanchard, the current global sport champion, will be going one-on-one -on -one against Lily Ayakashi for that title. She goes one-on-one -on -one in exhibition action against Danny Luna, the colorful girl that she is, the lady that I didn't know was a real person until about two weeks ago. That's, that's right, Danny Luna's a real person, folks. Mr. McMahon, more like Mr. Dick Karayob. Well, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good try. I hope everyone's getting Rhizomex comments in here. Could, otherwise, they just seem like a fool. Krayom. Yeah. Tessa Blanchard burned every... <laughs> Tessa Blanchard having burned every single bridge there is to burn. Save for this one in the professional wrestling industry is grasping with desperation to this death to this championship that these hold that the final bit of power that Tessa Blanchard can possibly hold in this industry. She goes one on one against Danny Luna as a warm up. As a warm up. When are we? S? I don't know, Moon Guy. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. But. Our main event of the evening, the gauntlet for the gold has come to its climax here tonight. The number two, Bray Wyatt, faces the number one ranked 
Ace Badrai in the final gauntlet match to determine who faces Claudio Castagnoli for the Global Sport Council National Championship. And Rhizomech, as, as you can see, you have your fans here. You have your fans here. Don't worry, Rhizomech. You will be, you are in action this Saturday night. Before we get to the end of the show, we will go over that card, the final card for Slaughter this Saturday, where we're going to go ahead and get things kicked off right now. Mr. McMahon, Vincent Kennedy himself, the spawn of Satan, going one on one against the indestructible killing machine known as the Terminator. And I misspoke earlier when I said that the Terminator was undefeated. He did actually suffer a defeat last season in that star making performance from Stang in the Elimination Chamber, but still to be yet to be defeated in one on one action. No matter what you throw at the guy, he keeps on coming. He keeps on coming. He keeps on coming. What could possibly defeat the Terminator? Well, maybe, well, maybe it's Satan himself, Mr. McMahon. And that when you got McMahon involved, you know. You know there's some shenanigans involved. Let's go ahead and take you down to ringside as Render Wrestling's Polaris gets started. Oh yeah. Oh no! No he didn't! No he didn't! The following match scheduled for one fall is to determine the number one contender for the Global Sport Council Multi-Universal Championship. Approach to the ring first from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at a svelte 236 pounds. The former chairman of the board, Vincent Kennedy McMahon. Two rag Vince has just placed our fucking presence here. I can't believe the gall of this man. McMahon needs to retire 100% 100% agree on that. Oh yeah, definitely can agree on that. He is gone from WWE, folks. He has gone from WWE, staking his claim in Global Sport Council. That's the situation. He wants to be an active competitor. And now he's found his home in Global Sport Council as such. Game's not gonna crash. Oh no. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And his opponent, developed by Skynet, weighing in at 714 pounds, the Terminator! As you can see, the polysteel alloy frame, the endoskeleton of the T-800, Killing machine making its way to the ring. There's nothing but death and disparity. And the artificial eyes of the Terminator. Jesus Christ. Look at that. What the fuck are you gonna do against that? If you're Vince McMahon, I I would be praying to the god that I don't believe in for a miracle. Perhaps lightning will strike in the arena. He's got no chance. He's got no chance in hell. The Terminator taking his fucking time. There's no rush. Time is meaningless for the T-800 killing machine, folks. Okay. Oh, God. McMahon. Terminator for the number one contendership for the multi-universal champion. And this match is underway. McMahon go right to the attack hall and will time. And Terminator goes down of all people. Okay, McMahon here. He wants to get something started early. Going for perhaps a jawbreaker. Terminator getting the kick out. And a shoulder block, god damn. He may have tore the 76 year old McMahon in half, but a nice dragon screw recovery from Vince McMahon here. They're just going all out. Oh, that dragon screw is deep. Deep, deep by the Terminator. Going for the kick, and we're going to do -si do these dragon screws. Vince McMahon perhaps hoping to incapacitate the Terminator enough to pin his shoulders to the mat. One, two, three. Damn, what a clothesline. Yeah, there you go. Terminator going to work. A trip. A rare trip that you see in this league. Vince McMahon employing 
all the tricks, and yeah, maybe the game plan coming together pretty quickly here for Vince. Attacking the leg, a punch in the head would have done Jack, Jack Diddley shit. In the corner now, Vince has got Terminator up on the second row. Yeah, he's gonna hop on down. Little malfunction, the junction kick to the gut. Terminator gets connected on by Vince. Oh, there you go. Coming right back on to Vince McMahon. And throw over the top rope, and Vince just spills out to the floor. Hey, wait a second, hey, Shane McMahon! Shane McMahon, how is he even walking, you wonder? He's come to the aid of his father! A left hand to the turn. Wait a second! The ref calling for the bell! The ref just called for the bell! Off a punch! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the match as a result of a disqualification and the number one contender for the Global Sport Council Multi-Universal Championship. Who Terminator? Yeah, bad match. I better stop this. Uh, there we go. We'll just take 10 seconds off the uh, official time there. Yeah, bad match. You can blame Shane O'Mac for that. You can blame Shane O'Mac for a lot of bad moments in professional wrestling in the year 2023, to be sure. 133. Thanks, Brando. Appreciate that. That's why you're the commission. Let's go ahead and let's just go ahead and put this in. Let's just go ahead and put this in real quick. The Terminator, Vincent Kennedy, Mac Man. Whoop. Singles, one fall, multi-universal disqualification, no finisher. No title steps. One minute. 33. Shane got Vince D. Q. Purposefully. And you gotta, you gotta believe that was purposeful. Shane McMahon knows the rules of a professional wrestling match, folks. You know, you know he does. You know he does. No doubt about it. There... There was ill intent, ill intent on the part of Shane McMahon. You gotta, you gotta think, you gotta think. Well, folks, they don't normally go like that. Let's just go ahead and dive right in to our next matchup here. Yeah, it doesn't normally go down like that. Not normally. Here we go. National Championship Division action. Champion. Claudio Castagnoli flanked by Sheamus and Drew McIntyre of the bar. Going one on one against Tommy Dreamer, <laughs> the least favorite stepson of Raven. My guys in wrestling, my favorite. My favorite too. Popeye's chicken is fucking awesome. Yeah, there you go. Little, little Nikki for your ass. We're not going to waste too much time. Claudio has been the champ. He's been the champ since the untitled finale, the end of January of this year. He's gonna make his third defense this Saturday night. Exhibition matchup, a little warm-up match against the innovator of violence, Mr. Tommy Dreamer. Let's just go ahead and get back to ringside. Let's just keep it rolling. The following contest is an exhibition match scheduled for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Approach to the ring first from Yonkers, New York, weighing in at 261 pounds, Tommy Dreamer. The coolest thing about Tommy Dreamer is, was, will always be his entrance music. And yes, that's right, I got the Alice in Chains. I got the. OG ECW theme, because that's how we roll in Global Sport Council. Copyright be damned it. It's all good in the hood. Secure them rights. Secure them rights. Aerosmith rules. <sighs> that's all I have to say about that.
nice. And his opponent from Lucerne, Switzerland, he weighed in today at 246 pounds. He is the Global Sport Council National Champion, Claudio Castagnoli. And Castagnoli, not alone. He's got his best friend, Seamus. He's got his best friend's best friend, Drew McIntyre, with him. And these three men mean serious, serious business. The bar already, already a force to be reckoned with. You see that Claudio is the national champion. Fuck yeah, he is. You add Drew McIntyre to the mix, your chances of winning drastic go down. Drastic. Oh yeah. Well, I hope you have enough chicken to fucking share with the group, man. They don't just set the bar. They are the bar. Seamus and Cesaro, pretty good tag team. Pretty good. Oh, oh good. Tommy Dreamer just woke up. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Referee Paul Simpkins ringing the bell. And this exhibition match is on its way. Tommy Dreamer trying to come in hot. Landed a kick. Grabs a... Oh! High angle suplex there. Almost a brain buster. Tommy Dreamer, well, <laughs> if anyone needs to prove himself in this league, that would be one Tommy Dreamer. Since he shit the bed in the opening round of the California Collective Invitational Tournament. And he's really given a lot of, oh, sad step ideas. Look at that spinning European uppercut by Claudio Casagnoli. Nice arm drag to keep things in the favor of Tommy Dreamer. Basement DDT, there you go. Dreamer starting off hot. Oh, the cravat. Oh, the cravat suplex. Oh, my God. Tommy Dreamer left hanging. Left hanging in the ropes. The sheer power of Claudio Castagnoli cannot, I repeat, cannot be understated. He is more than human. He is a, he is a true blueprint. Definitely is. And Castagnoli, look at that military press. Got Dreamer over his damn head. What's he gonna do with, oh God damn, another European uppercut. Very European uppercut by Claudio Castagnoli, keeping the work going. Oh, attacking the leg now, pulling him up, putting him back down, and Castagnoli cruising into control here. On the innovator of violence, Tommy Dreamer. We've seen Tommy and Beulah duking it out verbally. Their latest interview with Jules Gray Griffin. You can catch that on globalsportcouncil.net. Dreamer looking like the fool that he always has been. Definitely in that one. As Casagnoli maintains control with a nice STO. An arm wrench though. Puts Tommy Dreamer standing above Claudio. At least for a moment. Landing in some shots, some stomps. Gonna work a little, little modified monkey flip action. Well, it's a move. You did a move. It didn't do much, but it was a move. And there's a dragon screw trying to rip the patella out of the damn socket of Tommy Dreamer's Claudio Castagnoli. And Claudio, you know he's defending that national championship this Saturday night, looking to make a statement. Off the top, what a splash! A second and a half of hang time off the top rope. Into the pinfall now, is Tommy Dreamer gonna succumb to the top rope splash, S2, and Dreamer, Dreamer's gonna be out at two right there. Casagnoli would love to cinch this one up, put a little bow around it, and call it a day's work. Get ready for Saturday. Unfortunately, unfortunately for him, Tommy Dreamer, as shit as he is, oh, the dragon sleeper, and the foot in the ropes by Casagnoli, as shit as Tommy Dreamer is, you got to admit, the guy has an indomitable spirit. The guy has heart, has soul, has passion. It will not easily lay down. And Dreamer on the top rope now, thinking about flying. That's even less likely than Cesaro. He'll go. A double axe handle to a prone Claudio Castagnoli that definitely misses. What the fuck are you doing, Tommy Dreamer? Yeah, now he's asking the crowd, what the fuck am I doing? A nice side coast suplex, but that does not save you from the embarrassment, my friend. It does not save you from the embarrassment. And a three-piece combo connected from Tommy Dreamer. Finishing off with a sling blade. One of the most overused moves we got going on here. Dreamer 
He's got him up. Glory special. No, a razor's edge. Oh my God, Spirit Bomb! Sit down with the power bomb. Will he pin the champ too now? Ho oh, oh. ho! only out of two. Andrew McIntyre made damn sure he pulled Paul Simpkins right out of the ring. Says, don't you dare count the three. Don't you dare count the three. Oh, Swiss death uppercut. Dreamer somehow on his feet. He, I was gonna say he's probably out on his feet at this point. I pulled up again. Oh my God, gut buster from a military press. And it could be all over for Tommy Dreamer here as Castagnoli just completely overpowering Dreamer. Gonna turn him over to the sharpshooter. He's been using that to finish opponents off this year. He's locked it in deep, and that's it. And Tommy Dreamer taps. Tommy Dreamer, Dreamer taps out. Oh yeah, and Castagnoli doing the damn thing tonight. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that splash. Beautiful splash. Mid-air rotation. Drew, thank you, Commissioner. Making his presence known. Definitely made his presence known. I'm not sure that was, hope we get to see it in the replay here. Watch this spirit bomb. Beautifully executed by Dreamer. Gotta give him all the credit for that. One, two, kick out, then Drew. Hey, that's synergy. Swiss death uppercut. Then right into the sharpshooter. And that was all she wrote for Tommy Dreamer tapping out. Center of the ring. Goal winner of the match as a result of a submission. The Global Sport Council National Champion, Claudio Castagnoli. Give it up. Put your claps in the chat for Mr. Claudio Castagnoli. Looking strong. Looking pretty damn good on his way to slaughter this Saturday, 8 p.m., where he will defend the national championship against the winner of the main event here tonight. Tommy Dreamer, thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. All right. Let's put this shit in. Claudio. Tommy Dreamer, singles, one fall, national championship division, submission, sharp shooter, no title, 434. All right. Drew McIntyre definitely made his presence known. I know that was kind of a surprise for a lot of you. Oh, Drew McIntyre coming out. Well, I said last week, I said last week that the bar is recruiting. And who better than Drew McIntyre to come out for a voice? Oh, yeah. Very European, this day will be coming. It's funny to me that Popeyes doesn't have ranch. They have blackened ranch. That's because, that's because Popeyes is Louisiana fast, it's blackened because it's Cajun. It's supposed to be spicy. It's supposed to be spicy, my friend. You know? That's that's all, that's that's the, the, the why right there, you know? That's definitely it. Motherfucker. Let's keep it going. Sounds racist to me. You sound racist to me. All right, folks, this is going to be a special, a special matchup here. I was going to wait. I was going to wait until the ranking special after Slaughter to announce this. But Samoa Joe has entered himself as a registered tag team in Global Sport Council. He has previously won the television tag team championship two fucking years ago with Kurt Xenon 93, old Kurt McGurk. He's dead and buried, baby. And Samoa Joe has been unable to find a suitable replacement since then. He said, fuck all that. I'm done waiting. I'm done hanging around waiting. He's gonna go one on two. Moving forward, he's gonna bulldoze them all is what he said. Goes two on two against Big E Langston and Xavier Woods of the New Day 
to determine the number one contenders for the television tag team championships. The winner of this match will face Cheech and Chong for the television tag team title next week on Scuff City Live. Oh yeah, let's not waste any more time. Smojo's a fucking badass, but this is gonna be a test. Let's go. The following contest is a special one-on-two tag team match to determine the number one contenders for the Global Sport Council Television Tag Team Championships. Approaching the ring first, representing the California Collective, he fights alone, weighing 287 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Samoa Joe! Samoa Joe, like I said, a former television tag team championship winner, perennial top contender in multiple championship divisions. Has I had it up, up to about here without winning a big one, and he's tired of waiting, and he's going to get his right here, right now, tonight. He looks determined, he looks ready, he looks fucking pissed. Commissioner Brandon Brandon definitely rooting for Joe. Joe hates Brian Benjamin Andrews. I didn't want to get into that. Oh, <laughs> Don't you dare be sour. Clap for your longest reigning tag champs and feel the power. It's a new game. Absolutely. Let's not get into hate. Let's get into love. Let's get into P.O.P. Power of positivity, baby and his opponents at a total combined weight of 526 pounds, Biggie Langston, Xavier Woods, the New Day. Oh yeah, Biggie, Xavier Woods, the 12 time World Tag Team Champions. These guys like Popeyes. Who doesn't like Popeyes? Of course they like Popeyes. They also like bootios. Go get your box today. These guys just these guys just love having fun. You know? But when it's time to get it done in the ring, Biggie Langston's a former WWE champion. Ugh. If you've quite finished, Xavier. If you've quite finished. Yes, they like pancakes too. And Joe, of course, going to start things off. He's all alone. Oh, against the big man, Biggie Langston. And Samoa Joe phasing through reality to, to get a good position on that spinning back fist. And he has a couple of jabs. Biggie coming back. Oh, a belly to belly suplex. Holy crap. What a big, what a big E belly to belly right there. Good Lord. And Samoa Joe. He's not utilizing the metaphysical for nothing. He wants the victory. He wants the television tag team championships. And there you go. He's got Big E prone on the ground. He's just laying in the shots. No tags for, for Samoa Joe. He's going it alone, going for a body slam. Big E, oh, ran into a back elbow by Samoa Joe. Kid coming after him, charging Big E with a big clothesline. Oh, a stomp to the back of the knee. That's got to hurt. Big E back up to his feet. Irish Swift into the neutral corner. Into Joe's corner. And two knees stop the tracks of the beast known as Samoa Joe. There's a double knee breaker. Shades of the natural right there. Xavier. Oh, God, what a senton. Xavier's the actual coolest modern wrestler. Oh, I'm glad you feel like that. Xavier's really fucking cool. Stop polar suplex. Commissioner Brandon, as you may know, Xavier Woods does a lot of shit in gaming as well. He's pretty well respected in the field. Half and half suplex, there you go. Just a turn into a more of a hip toss with the power on display. And Big E getting caught again. Look at that! Death Valley driver! I bet you Tommy Dreamer wish you could have pulled that one up. 
common guest on Giant Bomb? No shit. That's awesome. As Joe locking in, trying to lock in an arm bar. He's not getting all of it. Being able to slip through, land a couple punches to the face. Yep, up, up, down, down, left, left, right, right. The whole she can. And Big He just walking some. Oh my God! Oh my God! He just threw Samoa Joe over the top rope to the floor. He carried him, and then he lifted him up over his head and threw him all the way to the floor. The spleen, the kidneys of Samoa Joe splatting on the mat on the outside, and that changes the complexion of the match instantly. Right hand by Joe fighting on the outside. Big E ducks the clothesline. He's going to set him going. And Joe tripping over his own feet as, as people are wont to do in this league. Oh my God. Swipes off the jab. Ref to six already. Joe maybe pulling it back in. Yeah. Going to take Biggie in. Well, most of the way in. It's the eight. It's the eight, Joe. Stop fucking around. All right. He's back in. Let's see what Ryzen Mac has to say at this point of the match. Skilly Merlander is the code to unlock the moon level on NFL 64. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty... That's clever, you know? That's pretty clever. Iguana. Iguana made uh, NFL 64, I believe. They're always... They always had good, uh, clever shit going on. As Xavier Woods, Rhizomex's favorite wrestler, gets tagged in. Joe, of course, staying in because he's all alone. Misses the shot in the turnbuckle. Xavier Woods trying to come back. Victim of the same buckle. A faint. Ooh, he did a faint. A move fake on a Joe. Into the Big E's corner there. And Dosi -si Doe right back to Joe's corner. And a double knees again. Joe would serve himself well to stop doing that shit. Woods off the ropes. Oh, caught him. That was a sliding flatliner by Xavier Woods. That was a really good move. Really good move. Xavier Woods. Uh-oh, he's charged up. Front handspring into the clothesline. He didn't, didn't look like he got a lot of it, but he got it. Irish Whipper first. Xavier Woods center of the top, hangs onto the apron. Joe now, belly to belly over the top rope. Jesus Christ. Samoa Joe. He is a beast. And now he's stalking Xavier Woods. He wants to lock in the Coquina Clutch. He's got it locked in. He's got the Coquina Clutch locked in. Can he tap Xavier Woods? Xavier Woods is fresh in this match. He is fresh in this match. Able to pry out of the grip. And fortunately, he's big Afro poof in the back. Kind of shielded the shot with that headbutt. Oh my God, what a front foot kick. Into the pinfall now. Referee Paul Simpson's gonna count one only. All things considered. Xavier Woods still fresh in this match, but that's a couple big time shots. That Joe hit him with. Oh man, just a standing end to Geary. Xavier Woods is down. He is down, man. Maybe playing a little bit of possum though. Woods back to his feet. Joe got the jump on him. Irish whip into Joe's corner. And the double knees again. Joe, stop doing it. Woods whipping Joe into the New Day's corner. Will he get the tag to Big E? Well, Woods has got him down on the mat. Laying in the stomps, laying in the stomps, damn. Oh, there's a tag, there's a tag. Big E coming in. Continuing with the stomps, there you go. They're running the train on Joe. Pow, pow, pow. Laying in shot after shot. Utilizing the rest, five count to perfection. Oh, Big E sent it like a missile. Ripped that off the collective. <laughs> you right now, you guys ripped that off the new day. And the pinfall. Oh, and Joe, he kicked out at one. He kicked out at one. He says, I'm not going down. I'm not selling that bullshit. You better kill me. You better kill me, says Samoa Joe. Taken down again by Biggie. That was a big time shoulder block. Biggie off the ropes. He wants to splash. Biggie splash. Into the pin. Into the pin. Count one. Joe will be down for two. Two count. Two count. Two count. Oh, man. Joe absorbing the punishment from Big E here. Remember a few minutes ago? Pow, belly to belly. When he was thrown over the top rope to the floor. My God. And Samoa Joe just locking in the front face lock. Oh, those kicks. Those Kawada kicks. Straight to the face. And a double knees again. I know what Joe wants. He wants the backsplash Enzigiri combo. 
not getting it in five attempts. Instead, hangs Big E out to dry on the top rope. Short arm shoulder block, Big E maintaining some control here. Irish whip reverse, now Big E on the outside apron. Joe, what's, is he gonna do the big man too? 265 pounds of Big E Langston, hurled over that top rope. And Joe's gonna go for the pinfall here. Come on, Paul. Xavier Woods in there expeditiously to stop the count. But fuck, Paul, maybe you could have got there in a second, you know? He wants a Sambo slam. Oh my God, what impact. And he even scared Paul Simpkins how hard that impact was. Back body drop counter. Big E staying in it. Samoa Joe, you know he's lined up. Irish whip. Big E in the corner. Samoa Joe, he, he was thinking about it. Still got countered. Standing switch in the corner. And a big Irish whip sends Joe to the New Day's corner. Bad place for Joe to be. Wants a tag. No, no. Joe lock it up. Shoves off towards the center of the ring. Big double arm sledge, no, cut by Big E. He wants the big ending. Will he get the big end? Oh no, oh no, it's over. It's over for Joe. Into the pin, into the pin. He couldn't take it, two count. And oh, two and a half, two and a half. Joe's out at two and a half after the big ending. Oh my goodness gracious. And there's a tag to Xavier Woods. Oh, Big E, job well done, I'd say. Holy crap. And Xavier Woods now. Oh, got single leg trip, Joe. With everything he's got. Oh, look at this step over. Toe hold face lock. So many things locked up right here. Xavier Woods, again, the victim of a devastating submission move. Xavier Woods, although he's still fresh. Remember, he was only in for a little bit. He's still fresh. Going against Joe. Reversal. Woods leaps over the top. Oh, there it is again. Oh, my God. That, now, that was a brutal landing for Xavier Woods off that belly to belly. Joe, Sambo slam, yes, the Aranagi, as it were, connects into the pinfall now, and Joe's gotta take whatever he can get at this point. Two count, and Xavier Woods out at two. That's very telling, Woods down for that whole two count. Trying to lock in the arm, the arm there. Xavier Woods fighting out neutral position. And Irish Whip sends Joe into the New Day's corner. Will Xavier Woods attempt the tag? He gets the tag. What do we got going on here? Oh shit, the Midnight Hour finisher! The Midnight Hour! Big E into the pinfall, the tag team finisher! Paul Simpkins, you stupid fuck! Get the pin, there's one! Joe out, Joe out, Joe out! Oh my God! Joe out at two definitively, and you gotta give Paul Simpkins credit for the assist on that one, cause he's so fucking dumb! Oh there's a knee right to the nose, the bridge of the nose of Big E Langston! In the corner for the ninth fucking time. What's Joe gonna do? Oh shit! He's got him up! He's got Biggie up for the muscle buster! Will he hit? He hit! He hit! On the far side of the ring! The finisher of Samoa Joe, the muscle buster! Leaving no chance for a rope break in the pinfall! Will Xavier Wood stop the count? He's not in two! Two! Three. Oh god! Oh my god! It was so close! It was so close! And Joe with a suplex! to Xavier Woods. Oh, he's fucking pissed. He's gonna jump off the top rope. Oh my God, the knee to the throat of Xavier Woods. Joe has had enough. Joe has had enough. Xavier Woods, oh, taking it upon himself to back off. Biggie run, oh man. Just charged right through Samoa Joe. We've crossed the 10 minute mark in this two on one handicap tag team match. Samoa Joe fighting for the number one contendership with all he's got, with all he's got for the right to challenge Cheech and Chong. And there it is. There's a Sambo slam again into the pin. Come on, get there, ref. And Xavier Woods was a little distracted. Count two. Will he know? Oh, God, two and three quarters. Two and three quarters. And Xavier Woods better be thanking his lucky stars because he was jaw jacking with the crowd or something. Speaking of the crowd, they're going fucking insane at this point for this match. It's Nightmare Takeover. What's Joe got in mind here? Biggie dazed. There's a fist. Oh, the Coquina Clutch! The Coquina Clutch! Now for the second time, there's nowhere for Biggie to go! There's nowhere for Biggie to go! He's got. He did it! He tapped! Samoa Joe did it! Samoa Joe, he did it! Holy shit! Holy shit! Oh my god! 
Oh my god! Let's take a look here. Samoa Joe. I miss the Samoa Joe of old. I miss the serious Samoa Joe. That's what it, that was right there. Look at the midnight hour. Boom! Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the match and the number one contender for the Global Sport Council Television Tag Team Championships, the one, the only, Samoa Joe! Good God almighty! Does she count as a banger? All right, it's a banger. Man, what a match. What a damn match. And if you're Rhizomech, I know you're crushed. I know you're crushed, but at least your favorite wrestler didn't actually take the pinfall. You know what I mean? That was a hard fought match for everybody. Let's get this shit put in. Man, that was wild. Samoa Joe. Hold on a second. All right. Handicap. One on tag. Television submission. Coquina. Clutch. Cocaina. Cocaina. What you know about cocaine, man? Big of it. Maybe Joe will have a surprise partner. You never know. I don't think he will. That's just that's just one president's <laughs> intuition. No, he's doing it. I mean, he's going alone. That's it. He's registered solo as a tag team. And as you can see. I don't think my best. Damn it, the hell don't go. What in the hell? Guys are wrecked just gave me a dollar? Yo, I love guys erect. What the fuck? You're the shit, bro. You're the fucking shit, guys erect. My man. My man. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. I thank guys erect with my mouth for the dollar. Thank you for the dollar with my mouth. Guys erect mouth. Fellatio. I appreciate the buck. <laughs> oh my god. What was the fucking time? 1134. Man, what a match. That was wild. That was fucking wild. I'm not going to lie. Well, we're just going to keep it going. We're, we're just going to keep that shit going. Samoa Joe will face... Samoa Joe will face Cheech and Chong one on two next week. Scuff City Live for the Television Tag Team Championships. That is that is locked in. That is locked in. All right, folks. Our penultimate match, exhibition action. We gotta bring it down. We we had a huge match. Oh my god. The fanfare. The pomp, the circumstance. Now it's time to cool down exhibition style match. Tessa Blanchard, currently the global sport champion. Going in to defend against Lily Ayakashi this Saturday at Slaughter. Same situation as Claudio Castagnoli. This is a warm-up match. This is a chance for her to exhibit her skills, her strength, her finesse. And Tessa Blanchard, you better be showing out 150% because you got nowhere else to go, lady. You got nowhere else to go. That was the dollar I didn't tip the Popeye driver. Wait, your guys are wrecked? How are you Rhizomech and guys are wrecked? All the same, bro. All the same. I thank you with my mouth. Guys, I thank guys are wrecked with my mouth. Felicio, dollar, all good. Danny Luna. Well, she's, she's quite nobody, as a matter of fact. <clears throat> she's such a nobody that I did not know until like two weeks ago that Danny Luna is actually uh, a real professional wrestler in real life. You see these kinds of people 
Like, you can tell they're made in the game, you know what I mean? And it's like, either someone I made, or a community creation that I got off someone, that's someone that's that's like me, that's like Brandon, that's like Miles, that people that make themselves, you know, put them in. I thought that's what Danny Luna was. I was like, oh, this is pretty, you know, Danny Luna, that looks pretty cool and everything. Uh, yeah, come to fucking find out, Danny Luna is a real professional wrestler. Uh, she wrestled in NXT UK for like two weeks and just bounced around Europe and... I guess she's gonna be going uh, to Impact Wrestling in a group along with a man known as Mandrews. So, like, there you go. Uh, that's how much of a nobody Danny Luna is. Hope she can do good against Tessa Blanchard, who's wrestling royalty and the Global Sport Champion. That's enough. That's that's actually way too much talking for this match. Tessa Blanchard is a strong champion, but can she withstand the likes of Danny Luna? We're gonna find out. Let's go to back to ringside. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, I gotta turn the fucking music up too. <laughs> the following contest is an exhibition match scheduled for one ball with a 20 minute time limit. Approaching the ring first, Danny Luna. And apparently Danny Luna, if nothing else, confirmed an ass man. Danny Luna loves the ass. Surprise the Mac, you might know this song. So that's the best thing going for Danny Luna. Just like Tommy Dreamer, the best part about Danny Luna is her entrance music. How about that? I did not give her that. I didn't do anything for Danny Luna. She comes as she is. Nice hair, though. I like the color. I like that color. Yeah. Didn't crash. Her opponent from Amarillo, Texas. She weighed in tonight at 148 pounds. She is the global sport champion, Tessa Blanchard. And Tessa Blanchard is a smug ass bitch. Good God. Extremely talented, uniquely powerful. The first ever female world heavyweight champion and that's in real life and what does she do with the literal world given to her yeah she is hardcore now yeah she is hardcore now rhizomech you should look up tessa blanchard racist you'll probably have a good laugh and tessa blanchard will be your new favorite wrestler i shouldn't have said that exhibition action before tessa's defense at slaughter Tessa's looking good, man. She's looking real jack, baby. Referee rings the bell, and hopefully he got enough of a wrestling be competent for this match. <laughs> well, as long as you don't state exactly what she said, you know what I mean? But she's definitely, you know, a racist, a bigot. Damn, fucking impact on that suplex. And Tessa Blanchard found herself in this league because she was kicked out of everywhere and but she had never lost the world championship and I said fuck it I'm gonna put her on my show because she never lost the world title and then she never lost the world title that title got retired and now she's the global sport champion and still hasn't lost it's insane I'm not saying she's gone when she loses Oh, damn. That was a hard kick. And Danny Luna's going to pull her up for another one? No, nope, just going to wrench the neck a little. Ugh. I haven't seen that in a while. That that just hurts me looking at it, honestly. If someone were to crunch my neck and turn it just so. Don't like that. I don't like that. Yeah, the crowd giving their jeers with a J. Just once you're going to get hung out by Danny Luna. There you go. And Danny Luna... 90 seconds in is looking uh, pretty well in control. A stump pull or suplex. There you go. There you go. Don't don't celebrate too quickly, Dana. 
Danny, you've accomplished nothing. Into the pinfall, that's ill-advised. Out at 0.3 is Tessa Blanchard. I don't know what you thought you were gonna get on the fucking Global Sport Champion, Danny Luna. And a dragon screw turns things around. Danny Luna now on the ground. And there you go. There you go. Hyper extending the shoulder right there with that maneuver. Tessa Blanchard moving into control. And another ill-advised pinfall. It doesn't even matter that the ref was out of, out of position. Ain't nobody winning with that shit. Kick to the gut, neutral position. Danny Luna running over Tessa Blanchard. And this is one of those, wow, I love this. This is one of those rare times when the crowd boos everybody in the match. They don't like any, either of these people, which makes me so happy. Tessa Blanchard is the champion. But the Irish whip to the corner. Is she gonna charge, charging Luna? And that big time clothesline takes Danny Luna down. Rizo Mac bought a gallon of shampoo for $12. That's fucking, you're, you're a fucking stupid idiot. Nice Goldberg-esque military press slam. And Tessa Blanchard might be wanting to put this, that, that shampoo, you better be able to fuck that shampoo if it costs $12. The running knee, and that might be all for Danny Luna. Where's the fucking rat? Two and two and a half. And that definitely, definitely would have been it. What the hell was Paul saying? He wasn't even in the camera. Tessa Blanchard off the top diving leg drop. And she looks at Paul Simpkins. Will you count now? Oh, you dumbass bitch. Oh, Tessa, you dumbass bitch. I'll tell you this, Paul Simpkins is not refing at Slaughter. A big left hand by Danny Luna. Well, it was big for Danny. It really wasn't much contact behind it, if you ask me. Both ladies up, nice calf kick by Tessa Blanchard, who's in firm, firm control of this match. Danny fighting her way to her feet, trying to get a, a hit on Tessa. It's not happening. Tessa's got her up. Oh, shit! Brain Buster! On to Danny Luna. Slips out this Danny Luna kick to the back of the leg of Luna now. What are we gonna do? We're gonna do nothing. The crowd's starting to come alive for Tessa. Blake. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. That reverse DDT onto the point of the knee of Tessa Blanchard. That cannot feel good. And Luna still in this match. And that's that's all Paul Simpkins. Oh! Went for a tackle. Caught by Tessa Blanchard into a DDT. Into the pinfall now. Yeah, you better be in position, Paul. And Luna out at two. Yeah, I think, I think uh, it's time for Paul to take a leave of absence, get himself looked at. You know what I mean? Danny Luna sizing up the champion. Are we going to see an upset here tonight? Got Tessa up, up on her shoulders. Into it. What the? A, I'm going to call that the sloppy Joe bomb. Into the pinfall. Not like this. Count two. And Tessa says, fuck no, not like that. What the hell was that move? That was the worst finisher I've ever seen. And I've seen all of Byron Saxton's singles matches. That was fucking awful. Name of Ashley's sex tape, volume three. Nice, nice. Now, if you had said Mandy Rose, that would have been, that would have been a huge, that would have been a, like a, that would have been a huge statement. Into the pinball off the spine buster. Yeah, they, yes, they, yeah, damn autocorrect. Yeah, Mandy Rose. And Danny Luna just running game. Discus elbow. Shades of Miles Michaels with that one. Will she go for the pin? Not quite, not quite. Instead gonna get the big swing in. You know, at his best. You know what I mean? The big swing is, you know what I mean? Well, you did it, you swung it. And the crowd immediately chanting, this is awesome. What the fuck do I know about anything? Yeah, it gets a two count off the swing. And Danny Luna, Jesus Christ. It's like everything she does somehow in this game, it's a fucking game. But everything she does looks like hot garbage somehow, some way. 
to the off the top rope, missile drop kick, side swipe, brushed off by Tessa Blanchard. And Danny Luna taking solace out on the apron. A big right hand. Nope, Danny Luna gonna keep that in the ring. Thank God. This match getting to a gear that I did not anticipate it getting to. Quite a competition between the two. Tessa Blanchard needs to put this away quickly. S slides out from the body slam as Danny Luna gets hung up on the top. Is there a mod that makes the cameraman shake every time there's an impact? There, that's actually in the game. That's in the game. I turn it off. I fucking turn that shit off. Because it gives me epilepsy, dude. Nice standing Hurricane Rana by Danny Luna, who just looks confused. Pop up Hurricane Rana, not to be outdone. And Tessa, nobody gives a fuck about these people. Danny Luna might be turning the tide a little. We should go for that discus elbow one more time. She's gonna do it! And the champ is down! Can she put Tessa Blanchard away? Can Danny Luna upset the champion? Four days before slaughter. What do we got going on here? Stomp to the gut. God almighty. Yeah, yeah, go for a pin. Yeah, now go for a pin. Two off of that. Was that three? Was that fucking three? Oh, God. This is, this is unbearable. This is fucking unbearable. Come on, guys. Get your shit together. Nice dragon, oh, hold on with the dragon screw. Tessa Blanchard whipping the leg, I guess that was something. And Blanchard now to follow up, military press into the front slam, yes it is. I heard the third sound too. Into the pinfall, the hand didn't, and there you go, and there you go. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the match as a result of a pitfall, Tessa Blanchard. Jesus Christ. And merciful, this one is over. Hell yeah, Tessa. I wouldn't be too proud of that fucking victory. I'd rather, I would have rather had a banger and lose out than fucking have the ref pull his three count when you were going to lose. I mean, the Danny Luna sucks. There was, I mean, come on. All right, Tessa Blanchard beat Danny. Luna, singles one fall. Global Sport Championship. Pinfall. Military press front slam. No title stipulations in an astounding 8 minutes 39 seconds Tessa really really struggling to get the W on that one and uh, before we go into our main event let's just take a look at the standings right now in the Global Sport Championship Round Robin Series we're going to see X pop up here go ahead pop in Vince McMahon? Holy shit! Vince McMahon! I knew you watched I knew you watched the show all along! Muchos gracias, Vincenzo, Vincenzo McMahon, I appreciate that. Oh, I'm gonna give you a dollar, pal! How about it? How fucking about it? That's what's up. Vince McMahon! Someone clipped that shit. Are you kidding me? Vince McMahon just hit my ass a dollar and got to see my face on his body. For the, for the trouble. All right. And here we are, Tessa Blanchard. Sitting at 1-0. and Well, she's really 2-0. 3-0 in the division. Faces Lily Ayakashi for the Global Sport Championship this Saturday. At Slaughter. I say it's time for a new champ. But that's, I mean, that's just me. That's just how I feel about it. All right, it's time for our main event of the evening, folks. Vince McMahon. God damn. Vince McMahon. Unbelievable. That's so cool. That's so cool. Well, I, I like your show, pal. 
And I want to say I just want to give a thank you to Vince McMahon as well because two years ago, two years ago and some change, it was a deal that Vince and I made to allow his wrestlers to appear on my programming, which started the WWE Global Sport Council mashup, which got us to where we are today. Other promotions started following suit. And now we have the most robust wrestling roster in wrestling history. And that is a shoot, folks. And this match is just one of those matches. It's very timely for Vince McMahon to chime in that shows us the relationship between WWE and Global Sport Council. The final match in the gauntlet for the gold to determine the number one contender for Claudio Castagnoli and his national championship. The number two, Bray Wyatt, goes one-on-one -on -one with Ace Badrai, a WWE original versus a Global Sport Council original. Pow, 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 pow! All right, we're taking, oh yeah, yeah. We're getting them banged up. This is gonna be a fucking Hoss match, to say the least. Ace Badrai has suffered one defeat, one defeat in his career. He goes up against Bray Wyatt, the Eater of Worlds, who has had trouble finding his footing since returning to professional wrestling last year. But it seems season three has been good for Bray Wyatt and the Wyatt family, man. You see, when I came back to wrestling, man, I didn't know exactly who I was. And I told all you people, man, I said, I'm just going to be me. Because that's that's all I know how to do, man. And you welcomed me back with open arms. I'm not. You know what? I'm not going to do it. It's the main event. We're rolling hard. We're rolling fucking fast. Bray Wyatt. The Eater of Worlds versus the Ace Badrai. The North Texan redneck. Pissed off summon a bitch. For the right to face off for the national championship this Saturday night. Let's fucking pump it up. It's the Telemi. God, I hate reading your fucking chat. I, I swear to God. Oh, is that Lemmy? Oh, is that Lemmy? Is that Lemmy? No, that's Ace. Ace Badra. Yeah. If you want, if you want some Lemmy in your life, you're gonna have to tune into Slaughter. Yeah. Yeah. Lemmy is. Yeah. Fucking, I love it. Yeah. If you want some Lemmy in your life, this Saturday at Slaughter, let me kill Mister. We'll be fucking in the house, doing a, doing the music, doing the music. Let's fucking roll with our main event. scheduled for one fall to determine the number one contender for the Global Sport Council National Championship. Approaching the ring first from parts unknown, weighing in at 271 pounds, he is the Eater of Worlds, Bray Wyatt. And uh, Razo, my God, man. And the whole time I'm waiting for the bell to do the intro, and in my head it's just, my ass is gay, my ass is gay. I, <laughs> I just, I'm, I'm dying. I'm absolutely fucking dying here. Bray Wyatt in the ring now, fighting for the shot to get the national championship. Truly one of those captivating, 
and despicable characters of the last decade. Two time world's champion. Oh, yeah. Hopefully, Rise of Mech is on again Saturday. Well, I am buying viewers on Saturday. Maybe he'll be one of them. Yeah. There he is. And his opponent. Oh. What the hell? Forgot about his music here. And his opponent from the North Texas Plains. He weighed in at 328 pounds. Ace. Badry. Ace Badry is a mean son of a bitch. He might be a little drunk right now. That's neither here nor there. What is here and there is this big hoss son of a bitch is looking for a fight and he's fucking pissed off about it. He came this close last season to winning the national championship. This fucking close in that double elimination tournament. Only, only to be turned away by the eventual winner and champion Claudio Casagnoli. And this match is on Bray Wyatt and Ace Baudry. Oh fuck, here we go, man. Referee Paul Simpkins in his last match officiating for at least 90 days. These two men go to work. Baudry hitting a side headlock. A nice switch to a top wrist lock. That double wrist lock keyed in. Single leg trip. There you go. There's some wrestling, which I wouldn't have expected from the Hosses. But here you go. Collar and elbow tie up. And Ace Baudry using his power over Bray Wyatt. And there's not a lot of people you can say that about. But Ace Baudry is definitely one of them. Six foot five, 328 pounds. He's a fucking massive man. Don't get it twisted. And he's pulling in Bray Wyatt by the dreads. What is this? Hanging him up over the rope. And a neck breaker. Good God, man. Back elbow by Bray Wyatt from neutral position. Ooh, running STO trip. Now, one thing, one thing Bray Wyatt's got that Ace Baudry doesn't have so much of is the quickness, is the explosivity. Ace Baudry is in your face, and he's a rough neck. Bray Wyatt can move all around the ring with grace. He, he can. Deep arm drag by Ace Baudry. Double arm clench. What is this? He wants to hit the Ricola bomb. Holy shit! Ace Baudry just pulled Claudio Castagnoli's finishing maneuver out from under him, hitting the Ricola bomb. And Bray Wyatt, the damage is done. The recovery. Look at that. Oh, nice follow up by Ace Baudry. Sidestepping. Sidestepping Bray, but back, you know, back to it is Bray Wyatt here. Left hand by Ace Baudry. And a big time clothesline takes down Wyatt. And the crowd may not like it, but they better get used to it. Because Ace Baudry is a force to, excuse me, be reckoned with. Flip flop alley you drop out of the corner. And there's Bray Wyatt with that dragon screw. Trying to limit the mobility, if you will, of Ace Baudry. Getting right back to work. You see an Irish whip in the far corner. Oh man, a clothesline to the back of the head into the cover now. Bray Wyatt not expecting to win. Kick out at one. Just letting Baudry know. Just letting Ace Baudry know. Just letting him know he got a point on him. And Irish went to another corner. Rushes again. Oh, meets the fist of Baudry. And Ace now trying to tie up Bray Wyatt standing. And Bray Wyatt, well, that missile-like cross body didn't get all of it. But it was enough. It was enough to take Ace Baudry down. Mentioning something to the ref. It's Baudry prone on the apron. Dizzy on the apron, rather. Comes back in. Deep six takedown. Holy shit. Spinning Bray Wyatt around 540 degrees for dropping his ass. And Ace Baudry sees the end in the... Uh-oh. Sidestep the kick. And Bray Wyatt. What a Sambo slam. And you see... You see the energy flowing through Bray Wyatt right now. I bet she's pretty happy with that. Uh-oh, he's got him in position for the sister Abigail. He hit it! Oh, he hit it! He hit sister Abigail and Ace Baudry. This soon into the match, is it enough to take the number one contendership out? No, Baudry rolls the far shoulder, the near shoulder up rather, right at two. And Bray Wyatt. 
for a moment there, he said, what the fuck is that? No one kicks out of Sister Abigail, but this early into a match, and you had to expect something like that. Look at that senton splash by Bodrai. 328 pounds coming crashing down. Wyatt recovering nicely, the short on shoulder block. But man, those moves of Badrai's definitely, definitely taking their toll. And I can see it from the back. It's what's known as the high percentage neck wrench. That shit hurts. And a person normally does that when they think, when they think they got one up, something heavy on their opponent. But he's Badrai fighting out of it. Hits a pump knee. Go for a right jab, counter, a haymaker, thrown by Wyatt, and there's a right hand by Bodry. We're just throwing bombs at each other now. Nice close on by Bray Wyatt, takes Bodry down. Pulling him right back up. We just work in this league, we just work. Going, oh man. Bray going for a gut wrench suplex, nice counter. Actually a really nice counter from Ace Bodry. And now pulling him back for the high percentage neck wrench. Says, no, no. Nah, son. That's how you do it. That's how you show the world that you got one up deep. Six, take down. And Badra may have winded himself on that maneuver. Kind of falls into the pin. Count two on Bray. Will he get three? Oh, he got three. Ace Badra is going to slaughter. Wow. Look, he's telling him, too. He's telling him. Let's take a quick look here. All right, this is the start of the match out at one. Yes, yep, yep, yep. There's the first of two deep six takedowns. Look at this huge Sambo slam. And you can see Bray Wyatt immediately. He's like, oh, he felt it. Right directly after. Sister Abigail, three minutes into the match, I had my doubts where Bray Wyatt was sure he was going to get the three count. Ace Badrai was not ready to stay down. Rolling the, the near shoulder up right there. The second deep six. Look at that, he's winning. He knew he did not much left for Badrai. Had to kind of collapse into the pin, and that was enough to take Wyatt down. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the match, and the number one contender for the Global Sport Council National Championship, Ace Badrai! Oh, don't think like that. Damn it to hell, don't go for the Oh, God damn! Like a pirate. <laughs> now let me, now let me donating a dollar. Would I get like three dollars right out of this show? That's insane. Thank you, Commissioner. Commissioner says it was a great show tonight. I am inclined, I am inclined to agree. Now normally, I would just give my sign off here, but slaughter is this Saturday. And ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna put these results in and we're gonna go over the card before we say goodbye. All right. So let's get the official results in. This was definitely some quick action tonight. I'm not complaining. We had a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun. All right. Ace Badrai, man. I wasn't rooting against Ace Badrai by any stretch, but I, I, I thought, I thought, uh, I really thought Bray was gonna take it. I thought this was Bray's time. He was looking real strong. He was looking real good. And, uh, Hey, I was wrong. I, I don't mind being wrong. Ace is a fucking hoss, dude. He is a fucking hoss. All right. Singles. One fall. National championship. Pinfall. Deep six. No title stips. It was like 505. Okay. Five. Five. Number one. Tenders. Match. All right. All right, folks, here we are. Here we are. This is it. This is it. Everything is locked in now. Everything is definitely locked in for Slaughter. That's this Saturday, folks. This Saturday, May 27th. It's going to start at 8 p.m. 7 Central. All right. In no particular order, but it's probably going to be in this order. We're going to kick things off with the finals of the California Collective Championship Invitational as D-Generation X, Shawn Michaels, and Triple H take on the living legends. That's Brian Benjamin Andrews and the wild man, Miles Michaels, the king of games and the intercontinental champion, respectively, for the right to challenge Brandon Brandon and John Cena for the World Tag Team Championships at Full Nelson. And then, 
And then, as we just seen in our main event, Ace Badrai taking the win over Bray Wyatt will face Claudio Castagnoli for the Global Sport Council National Championship. And then, one of our highlight matches of the night, Challenge to the Throne Ladder Match. We're going to hang a briefcase 12 feet above the ring. We're going to throw a half a dozen ladders around ringside and a half a dozen competitors inside the ring. Oh, yeah. Read Steam. After I announce this match, I'll, I'll, read, I'll read your Steam. Six of the top competitors in Global Sport Council all vying for a shot at greatness, at a shot at royalty. The winner of this match gets the briefcase which holds a contract for a match for the King of Games. Anytime, any place, for any reason. Use dark mode Excel. It's sheets. And I know looking at bright white sucks. It's sheets. It's sheets, man. It's sheets. Don't worry about it. Here's who we got in the mix. Some of the greatest of all time. Kurt Angle. Chris Jericho. And by the way, Chris Jericho, yes, sir. Part of the Living Legends officially. He re-debuts this Saturday. And you're not going to want to miss that. The Human Suplex Machine Taz. Tetsuya Naito. The one known as Rizo Mech, deliberately misspelled, mind you, and the phenomenal AJ Styles. All right, what does Steam say? I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna read this. Overhead condenser microphone. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. I'll click, I'll click on that shit too. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I'll try. Stick it where I sit. Fuck me where I shit. My ass is gay. My ass is gay. There you <laughs> That's pretty good. That's, that's pretty fucking good. I like that. Thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. And I think, I think actually, this is going to be our semi-main and this is going to be our third match. Lily Ayakashi takes on Tessa Blanchard for the Women's Global Sport Championship. Oh yeah, we're gonna go, we're gonna go to a little intermission. And then for the Multi-Universal Championship, it has been determined that the Terminator who won via disqualification the first match of the night will take on Santa Claus in his third title defense for the Multi-Universal Championship. What is that? I don't even know what that is. And then for the Global Sport Council Tag Team Championships, what a scrum we had to find contenders. But Kyrie Sane and Asuka, the Kabuki Warriors, take on Natty Neidhart and Beth Phoenix, the Divas of Doom, for those tag team titles. And our main event of the evening for the World's Heavyweight Wrestling Championship, the California Collective's Brandon Brandon qualifies to face the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels, in his fourth title defense of the World Championship. That will be our main event. Ladies and gentlemen, Slaughter is this Saturday night at 8 p.m. It is going to be a gala affair, the likes of which you have never seen, the third annual of such. And we are so excited here at Global Sport Council to be bringing you the Slaughter Show three years running. What a journey it has been. What a journey it was to get to the first Slaughter. And I can't even believe we're here at the third one now. Ladies and gentlemen, you are part of something big, my friends. And I'm so glad you're here with me. I want to thank everyone for tuning in tonight, especially Mr. Rizo Mech, our esteemed guest of honor. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It was pretty gay time. And I appreciate Rise of Mech bringing the gay. I always do. I'm Brian Benjamin Anders. We will see you this Saturday at Slaughter.